Juliet, Juliet, good school to your mother. I'm an indigenous of any good state. I was born at Miss Bauchi State. My dad said he went to Bauchi State when he was 17 years old. So I think he was looking for greener pasture. I was 10 or 11 years old when we left Bauchi State and came to just. We came to just 2001. Mm -hmm. And I spent all my life since then in Bauchi State. I've been an artist for like seven years. I was gifted with this and that is what I wanted to do. Like all my life since I was a child, I wanted to be an artist. My dad cannot draw, my mom can, could not draw. So I, I don't, I can't even explain where the gift is coming from. But I know that when I was a child, I could easily draw anything I could see. I just knew that I love doing this thing. I love drawing. So basically all my notes, I could draw all the time and, you know, whenever my mom would ask, okay, what do you want to be in future? What do you want to do with your life? I said, I want to be an artist. I want to be a painter specifically. That is what I will always say, an abstract painter. Mm -hmm. Then I don't even know what is going abstract, what is going painting, but I just know that this is what I want to do. And that is how the gift came about. And I actually developed the gift. When I was 21, I had a boyfriend then. And he asked me, what do you want to do? I said, I want to be an artist. He said he had a friend that is an artist. And he took me to the guy's place, which is Mr. Fidel Adoro. The next day, I brought my sketch part. He asked, okay, did you copy it anyway? I said, no. I just imagine and just bring out the things I just see. He said, okay, this is your lesson fee that you will pay if you want to start and stop. And that is how I started and that is it. So you, you owe this to your boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> you are him and Umo now? Yeah, we are not together. What happened? Uh, like your work, your work took, took, took over <laughs> and you had no, no more time for him. Tell me, tell me. Uh, he was supportive. My boyfriend was really, really very supportive. But just that, <laughs> as children, and I loved him, he loved me too, but my work was consuming a lot of my time, that's the truth. The kind of painting I do mostly are abstract paintings and natural paintings, which is landscape. But the abstract paintings are expressions. I express myself through my paintings, which is mostly on abstract paintings. When you say you express yourself, must you be in a certain mood before you paint something like, like this now? Tell me about this. Uh, one day I was just having my money devotion and this work just came. So what does this mean? Uh, this work I actually titled it Widow. Widow? Yes. Okay. This is a young girl from the way you can see it is a young girl that just got married. A young girl of early 20s. She have a lot of things that she wants to do with her life, which is that's the different colors you could see on her faces. Mm -hmm. She have a lot of things that she wants to do, she wants to achieve. But because she couldn't achieve them, that is when you can notice she's putting her two hands on her jaw. Mm -hmm. Like the light just flashed to her in space of something like, what is happening to me? And the man she's married to left her. Mm. That's why you could see part of her hair is not being plated and some are having hair and some are not. Mm. Because her husband left her and everything about her life just crumbled, just split of seconds. Okay. So that is what the work basically is all about. But I'm still working on it, trying to develop the work okay. to look better than the way it is looking now. Like these colors are blue, why? Why are you using blue? Okay, why well, I'm using blue basically. Blue means calmness and sincerity. She was sincere to get married to this man. That is why the, the background is looking bluish. But what she's looking for, she didn't actually go what she was looking for. So her hope was just shattered in just getting married to this man. How do you decide what colors to use? Before I will start a new work, I pray, I trust the Holy Ghost to show me what to do and which colors to use before I can actually put the colors together. Like this one now, I actually saw them. So that is why I'm putting the colors together. Hmm. So you said you pray. Are you, are you religious? I'm a believer. Uh -huh. So what? You're not religious, but you're a believer. Explain that. I don't understand that. <laughs> Why I say I'm a believer, I believe what Jesus talked about in the scripture. And I study my scripture. 
and I live according to what the scriptures is telling me, and I'm applying them in my work. That is why I said I'm a believer because I practice what is written in the scripture. How come you don't use a palette? My palette? I use my palette. A lot. So why are you not using palette today? I'm trying to arrange my colors. Okay. Yeah. What kind of print is this? This oil. Mm -hmm. These colors are oil colors. That is my medium. But like in this one now that I'm having right now, I'm missing both oil and acrylic. Mm -hmm. Some of the backgrounds are oil, so mm -hmm. Part of it like this part are friendly. So but basically the medium I use here is oil all the time. Okay. That's my medium. Do you have a family of your own? Family of my own, no. I'm not married yet. Okay. But I have my dad, my twin sister, my elder brother. You're a twin? Yes. Ah, your twin sister, does she does she do act like you? My twin sister does not and she's into business. Yeah, okay. So your boyfriend helped you get this profession of yours and you were so busy you just didn't have time for him. Kai, it's so sad. <laughs> so where is he today? He's in Lagos right now. And you two are not friends anymore? We are still friends. I did this one. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Uh, this one you can see, this beautiful painting with pink background are two lovers. But I made it in an African way because I love painting Africa. Most of my work, if you can see them, I, I my medium I use Miss Media. This oil, basically. Mm -hmm. This medium is oil. Okay. And these are two lovers that I love. I love pink. Pink are one of my favorite colors. Okay. And yellow. Yellow is my favorite color too. Mm -hmm. So these are like two lovers that are so much into each other. Mm -hmm. And they are having their nice time together. Mm -hmm. But well, you can see I use different colors here, which this, um, this orange, orange means endurance. That means love. Love does not just, you know, the part of love that we see is the one that is all rosy. But only the people that have a large heart and can enjoy what the loves can bring for them can actually withstand the period of love. That is why I gave her endurance as a woman. When a man gives you love, you have to really have enough endurance to actually accommodate what the man is giving you and to give him back. Mm. So if you can see the yellow, yellow means honor. So the man honored her and gave her all these accessories that you can see as beads. He honors her to show her how much he loves her. Why I used this green for her? Green, mean, green means growth and fertility. So, scripture said, he who findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtain favor from the Lord. So, he found, and one of the blessings that come with marriage is hope and fertility. So, that is why you can see she's wearing these colors. And if you can see the colors too, as part of her makeup, there. Basically, that's what the work is all about. I did this too. Titled it Amazing Grace. This is all about amazing grace grace of the cross because Jesus came and died for us and scripture said he said cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for them if you can see these are different bodies of people in this our world now we have a lot of chaos and a lot of things happening to us some people are marital, having marital issues some financial issues health issues so these are different bodies. And scripture says, come boldly to the throne room of grace to obtain mercy and to find grace. So you have to come to Jesus, which is the cross, which that is why I put the cross in the middle here. If you come boldly to obtain grace for anything you want to do, grace for your health, grace for your marriage, grace for your wealth, grace for anything you are trusting God. That is why I actually titled it Amazing Grace. So if you are looking for amazing grace, this is the right one for you. Nice. Next one. Why this one now? Mystical lovers. 
I love painting lovers. <laughs> okay. Love is beautiful. And scripture says, love cannot fail. Love can never, never fail. So if you can see now, I represented Africa. All my works, you always see African touch. African touch. These are two couples that I love. And this is a man. This, this man here represents Africa. And why this one is like a Western lady. So that means two countries coming together in love and in unity. That is what the work is all about. And I actually use blue as the background as sincerity. Love is sincere. Love is sincere. So if you want to love, you have to be sincere to your own self and to the person you are loving or falling in love with. Mm. And as you can see, I'm using green again for the lady, which is hope and growth and fertility. So as a woman, you are always fruitful and you carry the blessing. So once you fall in love and get married to that man or to that person, you are the one carrying the blessing. So just know that your home will be filled with a lot of love and a lot of growth in it. So that's basically that is why I use the green for her. Mm. Why this this anyango? I painted this. Anyango. Anyango is um light of the sun. So if you see now this is a beautiful lady carrying a pot, a calabash, and this mask, which represents Africa, and this is a shell. So this work is Miss Media, and she's tying her wrapper, which is purple, which is royalty. So that means as a woman, you are royal. And you can see these beads represent different colors, which is excitement, encouragement, honor, Red, red means to like maybe pain too. So as a woman, you can go through a lot of pain. Being a woman is not easy because one, you have your family to attend to. And if you can see now, this is like her home. She's leaving her home to see her head. That is why I'm using this color, Anyang, which is this, um, this color here now, why I use is yellow ochre which is yellow, which is her life. She has a bright life ahead of her. That is why I actually use that as a background. But because of she's, she's looking this beautiful and down, does not mean that is all what a woman is all about. One, she's hardworking. That is why you could see this on her head. She's, she's, she still does her domestic work. And at the same time, she's still looking after her family. So that is what the work basically is all about. I painted this one too. Uh, this is titled I am the way, the truth, and the life. This, uh, this is a journey. If you can see these different people. If you can see the cross now, the cross is having a white rope on it. And if you can see the blood is dripping. So Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. He shed his blood for us. So he said, whosoever that, nobody can go through the Father except through me. So you cannot go and see the Father except through Jesus, which is the cross, confess, confessing Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior before you can go through this place. If you can see now, this another different part of the work. This handle of the cross is shorter. So this signifies the different kind of life and different kind of people. The world is so very beautiful that you can easily be distracted. The work come in different shades of colors, come in, in pink, in purple, in blue. You know, in any kind of shade of life, life can give you different kind of shade. But if you don't fake here to notice that with this, if you do not have Jesus in your life, you cannot even have this one. So that is why if you notice, if you go through Jesus, the hand here is longer. That means you enter through this door, you will have life, a better life than the one you are having right now. So Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So if you confess him as your personal Lord and Savior, you have a better life. But these are like the word itself with many colors. But if you want to stand just with the word alone, you cannot actually make it. But with this in it, 
you will have a better life. So that's what the work is basically all about. If you can see the light emitting from this place, so you have another life in Christ Jesus, which is like is a journey transiting from where you are to another life. That is what the work is all about. Nice. And this now, this is the past, the present, and the future. That is the title of the work. This, if you can see, you can see three hearts. A woman carrying three hearts. And this one behind is the past. If you can see, the past here is not bright. Why this is the present? Why this is the future? If you do not, without the past, we cannot even have the future. And, and we, can, we cannot have the present. And without the present, we cannot have the future. So basically, why I made the past dark. If you dwell so much in the past, you will not be able to enjoy your present future. You cannot see, you cannot see your present, I mean. So dwelling in the past will not help you to move on in the present. So that is why the past is fading away, it's dark. So why, actually why I won't put this cut in here to show that this is the present. How you handle your present, determine how your future will be. Just like the way the white people will say, the way you lay your bed is the way you rely on it. So the present, how you deal with your present condition or your life entirely, determine how your future will be. If you spend a lot of time on your present, trying to grow it or trying to groom it, you have a better future. And these two, three uh, pots here represent still the present, the past, and the future. So now you can see the past here is fading away. What came to my mind when I was actually doing this work was like, if we dwell so much in the past, we will not be able to see what is happening in our present. And the present, if you do not take care of your present very well, if you do not invest well on your present, you cannot have a better future. Like, especially I actually painted it from the perspective of a youth, because I'm a young person. I noticed that most, uh, most of us we use, like me now, we use myself as an example. I know I had some bad experience, like with my past that I was finding difficult to let go of some certain pain. And I noticed it was taking me back I just made up my mind, I said, no, I can't bring my past to my present so that I can move or actually forgive my own self and forgive people that hurt me or offended me to be able to face my present. And my present, I'm investing so much in my present for me to have a better future. So that is what this work basically is all about. But I actually used green. You know, people be wondering about using green. Green is hope. It's hope for me. So that is why I'm actually using green. And green is growth. So once you are hopeful, you can actually grow. That is why I'm using green a lot in my work. And, you know, and, and green again means to me fertility. That means I can be productive in anything I put my mind to. That is what the work is basically all about. Yes. <coughs> why this now? Uh, <laughs> Okay, now this is once upon a time. I want to just say it casually, once upon a time in my village. <laughs> uh, the work is tied to once upon a time. These now are, these are basically husband and wife. These two that is up here now. Uh, this is the man and this is the lady. People will always say, behind every successful man, there is a lady behind. The man so this is the man here now and if you can if you can see now this like a knife and this shows that this man is hard working and scripture said something he said the word of god is a sword so that is why i actually use this word as the head and which is what the man is carrying so the as a man you have to actually trust god as your head and once the word of God is the head, why once Christ is your head, you can actually have a successful home, as you can see here now. This is the woman behind the man. And if you can notice most of the colors that the man is having, the woman also is having the color. So both of them have become one. Where is I can't see the woman. See her here. <laughs> this is the woman behind the man, and this is the man. 
you know, people will be wondering, okay, I think this is the lady, no. I actually gave the man hair in Africa. The men can actually braid their hair. So I took this in back then, not like our present now. I took it like our forefathers that they can braid their hair, you know, wear their bees and carries and all those things. I took it back then. So this is the man. So this is the woman behind. And if you can see now, the color that the man is having, the woman is also having. So the two of them have become one. So the woman, the woman is reflecting what the man is. So if you can see now, I actually put carries for them too. So this, this signifies that this man is hardworking and they are worthy people. And this like, this is their culture back then, where they are coming from. So these are like twins, they are children. And why I actually use this Ankara here now? Scripture says something. He said, bed on the fire. So when once a man and a woman gets married now, God honor the marriage. God honor the union. So if you can see now, this is the yellow fabric you can see here now. God actually honored their union. And this, on it now, this, they are children. This set of twins, a boy and a girl. So God actually honored them by giving them two sets of twins. And you know, back then, with the stories we heard, they said they are abolished. In short, they love killing twins. Once they give birth to twins, they just probably will kill one or something will happen to one. But if you can see now, I brought in that actually killing of twins is not really right. And this is what the union of marriage can actually do. My advice for those that are coming up is one of, in short, my number one advice for them is to trust God, to trust Jesus. Because the truth is, uh, me, actually, Jesus helped me all the way, all the way, all the little, like, all the way. Because when I started the earth, I didn't even know that I would make it this far. It was hard for me because my mom died. She died in 2008, and it was just my dad, and they never wanted me to do the art. And so life was so hard and difficult that to feed was a problem. But I told myself, this is what I want to do. Jesus first, then make up your mind, make your decision that this is what I want to do. And once you say, this is what I want to do, you discipline yourself to do it. Then when you discipline yourself, you delight in doing it. Because I made up my mind, this is the path I want to take. And I discipline myself, whether I like it or not, that I must practice the art on a daily basis. And the more I'm practicing, the more better I'm becoming. And before I know, the thing became a habit. It became what I love doing on a daily basis. Do not give up in your dream. If you said, this is what I want to do, and it's right, just follow it. And that is it. And you, in short, you, you can even go to any length to be where you want to be. Not in the wrong way, please, but in the right way. Most artists are male, not female. You know, so I wanted to prove a point that a girl child can actually do this, you know. But now my dad is so very proud of me that he's even surprised that I could do this, you know. And my friends were even surprised. They will always tell me, Juliet, so you, you are still doing this art? I said, yes, I'm still doing the art. And I thought I told you that I want to be an artist. Now I'm an artist. You know, so for young people, please do not give up on your dream because if you said, I want to be a doctor, put in so much hard work to see a better future ahead of you requires so much hard work. So you have to work daily, on a daily basis, whether you like to. Like me now, sometimes even when I experience menstruation, with a lot of pain, I still work. I still work. That's it. I do not give myself excuses like, I'm not going to work. But I have days that I'm tired, that I could just relax a bit. But I just know that as an artist, you just have to work hard work and Jesus will make it definitely. Thank you so much. Oh,